this is going to be a very quick tutorial on repeating patterns in Affinity Designer. So the first thing you want to do is come up to your file menu and select new. And once we're in here, we want to make a custom canvas size of the page width 500 pixels by the page height 500 pixels. And once you've got that, just hit that create button and there's our square canvas. Okay, so I'm going to make this really simple. I'm going to do a basic pattern, but you guys can make this more complex if you like. Do anything you want to do with it. As long as you follow the same procedure, you shouldn't be able to go wrong. So I'm going to get started by grabbing this heart right there. I'm just going to drag that out. If you hold down shift, it'll keep the proportions. And I'm going to center this. It's not important, but I like to. Just wait for that to snap. And I'm just going to give that a random color for the moment. And... Next thing I'm going to do is make a copy of this heart. So I'm going to hit Command C for copy and Command V for paste. And I'm just going to grab this top right hand handle and I'm going to hold down Shift and Command at the same time and pull that in. That'll just make a smaller version of the same shape. And I'm just going to move this to where I want it. So roughly around there. And I'm just going to give that a different color. We'll go for that kind of purple. And I'm just going to drag this one behind this heart so it sits behind it. And the next thing I want to do now is make another copy of this green heart. So we're going to Command C and Command V. Going to do the same as before. Grab this handle, hold down Shift and Command and drag it in. But just bring it in slightly. So about there is fine. I just want to give it the illusion that it's cut out. So what we need to do next is select this shape underneath it. And select this purple one as well by holding down Command. So now we've got both of them selected. Once you've done that, come up to the Boolean section up here and just want to subtract. There we go. So it looks as though that heart's been cut out of that one. So that is going to be my basic pattern. I'm going to change the color of that. It's a bit more eye pleasing, a bit more nice to look at. And that'll do. So what I want to do now is just group these together. So hold down Command, select that one as well. Command G to group. And that is going to be the basis of the pattern. So all we have to do at this point is make a copy of this. So Command C, Command V, and then we just need to start moving this into place. So if you look at this and vision this being four quarters, we've got the top left, top right, bottom left, bottom right. You just got to line these up into the corners of the canvas. So this one here needs to be the bottom right hand side. So if you pay attention to these little round nodes here, you just line up this one with that line and you line up this one with that line and just let it snap into place. Just like that and then we're going to make another copy of this command c command v and same over here but we're going to now line up the left hand side so let it snap into place and paste once again and now we're going to come down here and just line up that side and just make a copy because it's down here and paste that again and bring it over here and just line up that so that there is a basic pattern all lined up. We don't have to do anything else now. We can just start bringing other designs into here. Whatever you do inside of here now doesn't make any difference. It doesn't have to line up up here or anything. So to continue, I'm just going to make it really basic. I'm just going to paste the same shape that we've already got. I'm just going to make it smaller. And just put it anywhere on the canvas. I'm going to make a copy of that and paste it. And just make different sizes. I'm just going to start moving this in just random places. Like I said, you can do this to any design that you've done yourself. You're not restricted to using these hearts or triangles or circles. Just put them in any random spot just to fill up this white space. And just make a couple more smaller ones. Just up there, and make a copy of that one and paste that one as well. And that will do. So that basically now is the pattern finished. So all we've got to do from this point now is just save this file. So if we come up to file and we save as, I'm going to save to my desktop. I'm just going to call this hearts. And I'm going to save that. So what we're going to do next now to test this out, we're going to create a new canvas. So we're going to come up to file, new, and this time around we're going to go for 1500 by 1500 and create. 
So now once we've got this bigger canvas, all we've got to do is come up to file and down to place. And we're going to bring in that hearts pattern that we just did. So now if we just drag this out and if you let it snap, it should line up perfectly. Just that way it snapped. And now if we make a copy of this, command C, command V, we can pull this right to the side and it will line up perfectly as you can see. And then if we copy these two pieces, make a copy of that, command V the paste, bring it down. And as you can see, it's seamless. It's absolutely perfect. The advantage of saving this as a project file up, we just did and put the four together is you can double tap on any one of these and you can start changing any of the colors inside of this, or you can resize them. And once you've done that, it'll update automatically across the other ones. So we just start by giving that a different color and same as this one here. And we just start switching this up a little bit. Let's make that a little bit different to what it originally was. And you'll see now once we close this tab and we come back on there, it's updated all of it just to what we just designed. And if you don't like what you just did, double tap on it again and just come in and change it back to any other color that you like. And then straight away, you see it just updates in real time. There you go, just like that. Okay, so that is one way of doing this. Another way of doing this is coming back to our original file, this here, and we just gotta export it as a GIF, and then we can bring that into any other shape that we wanna do. But before that, I think I'm gonna make this a little bit different than the other one, so I'm just gonna grab that square quickly. It's gonna change the color of this background. And I'm gonna drag that down to the bottom and just make that a little bit different. Something like that will be fine, just to demonstrate. So once I've got this, I'm now going to come up to a file and go to export. I'm going to export it as a GIF. And I'll just call this hearts GIF. Okay, now we've done that, we can come back over to this one and we'll just delete this because we don't need it. So I'm just going to command A to select all, just delete that. And now all we've got to do at this point is select any shape that you want. We can use all of them or any of them, whichever. I'll just grab that circle for a moment. It's going to drag that out. And once you've got your shapes, come up here to the fill tool on the left hand side, and then up to type and change from solid to bitmap. And once you've done that, just find your GIF that we just created and select open. And now, as you can see, it's inside of the shape. So if you grab these handles here, we're able to resize it. So if you hold down shift, just keep that proportion and stuff. You can see, just bring it in and out and just keep repeating and you can rotate it and generally do what you want to do with that. And once you've selected that, you can now draw any other shape and it'll automatically be applied inside of it. So we just drag that heart out again, as you can see. And if we grab that fill tool, we can move in and out again, like we did before. And that will apply to any shape that you use. So if you want to use a star and grab that fill tool and just start moving it and zooming in and out and so on. Okay, so that's it for this video, guys. This is two methods of doing this. One saving as a project file and you can double tap and change the colors and it'll update in real time. Or you can do it as a GIF like we just done now where you can insert inside of a shape. So I hope this video helped and if you enjoyed it, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. I've got a lot more videos coming in the next coming weeks. Take care guys, have a great day and I'll see you in the next video.